Sentence is standing by. 952. Thank you. St. Vincent standing by for car 952. 952, good evening. Coming to you with a 34-year-old male. Double lung transfer, three-day history of Mary Influenza. Um, and we found him in respiratory distress in the lung. He's receiving oxygen. He's been tabulated. Uh, we'll be with you in approximately five minutes. The bat phone is only used when a critically ill patient is coming in by ambulance. He needs to go straight into a resuscitation bay, but all three are occupied. He'll need to go to... Back home to the green zone, ETA five minutes. Do you want him in the green zone, Darren? Let's well, just move him to the corridor just now, and then yep. we'll get him in and okay, then I'm no up in this space. We're just going to move this gentleman into the corridor, and then we'll wait for the ambulance. Um, we don't have any more cubicles. So we just said, yeah, he's got a bad phone coming in, respiratory distress. He's got a lung transplant as well, so yep. really sick. And it just seemed we had to pull the patient out quite quickly. Yeah. And there's no other space because we're full. Yeah. And we'll see how things are after that. Just constantly reprioritise the must happen. Yeah. Yeah. Goodness me. Um, so this is Michael, he's 35 years old, he's coming from home. Um, he's got cystic fibrosis and a recent diagnosis of parrot influenza for the last three days. So it's shortness of breath for three days. Um, today he presents diaphoretic, a uh, bit suffused um, and extremely short breath. I'm not, I don't think this cannula is even running anymore. Test X-ray is here. Guys, we've got a gas. pH is 6.9, pCO2 is over 110. HB looks okay, um, SO2 is 28. K is 5.9, uh, lactate of 2.2, glucose 16.4, unreadable creatinine. Yeah, it sounds like the whole intubator. Yeah. They're struggling to get what we call access, so like yeah. cannula and bloods. Yeah. So he, the uh, paramedic mentioned he had a cannula already installed, yeah, but and that's not, not usable. Right. He's so shut down, so I think that's where they're struggling. Para, well, it's like a virus, so yeah. he's caught that, and it's the last thing his lungs probably need. So you're ready to go, Anthony? Right. 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 Any next of kin or anything? His wife is at home with a young child. Yeah, he... Did they say if they're going to come in or not? I don't, I don't. When that bat phone rings, everybody downs tools and goes and helps that particular situation. That means that there are resources being diverted from everywhere. That's where that knife edge is really revealed because it's a lean operation. That was the first time I've witnessed someone be intubated. That is a really distressing thing. That is not a small pipe going down your throat. You know, when you start to talk about the reality of that person over there, you know, two metres away that is effectively dying, that's when you start to consider the mortality of the situation. I think this will hit me later. Um, I think it'll be, yeah. I'll be glad to be alone, I think.